What's up guys? It's your boy Whedon here back with another video and today we are back on Madden 20. Madden today's video we are going to be drafting the slowest player in every single round about a week or two ago. I drafted the fastest player every single round. So this time we're going to be drafting the slowest. Now in my opinion, I'm sure most of you guys can agree with me, speed is probably the most important stat in Madden for pretty much every position other than maybe quarterback. So this is going to be a hard challenge, but I'm ready for it. And if you guys were wondering, I rearranged my room a little bit so there's not so much stuff behind me. It's all moving around, whatever. So if my camera setup's a little bit weird, we're working on it. I'll fit. I'll figure it out, so just bear with me. But lastly, though, before we hop in this draft, if you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And then the comment question of the day today is, who is your guys' favorite player that is not on your favorite team? Coach round, though, I'm going to go with my boy, Matt. You know what it is, but from now on, we have to draft the slowest player in every round. We start off with our halfback round, and we're stuck with Kyle Juszczyk. Oh my god, that is tough. We might not end up with the halfback, boys. We got a linebacker around here, 79 speed. Oh my god, these guys are slow. Another linebacker around here, we got 85 speed, James Burgess Jr. I'm not going to lie, I don't know who that is. But 85 speed is a bad middle linebacker. That could be my user. I appreciate that. Round number eight. The controller is shaking. We got a secondary round. And we got a tie between Harrison Smith and Kareem Jackson. I'm going to take Harrison Smith higher overall. I would normally pick Siri here. Just pick a number one through two. But I'm just going to take Smith. Another all secondary round here. Round number 10. About halfway through the draft. And we're going to have to pick 88 speed to Marius Randall. Honestly, not mad at that pick at all. Quarterback round here, boys. We got Fitzpatrick, Mayfield, and Cole Pepper. And the slowest is Ryan Fitzpatrick. His stats are actually insane, though. I'm excited to use this card. I'm not even going to lie. I'm happy with that round. Round number 12, all cornerbacks. And we are getting AJ Boye. First wide receiver round here. And we're stuck getting Mike Williams. Now, if you guys have caught on to a trend here, we're pretty much getting the like the worst player every round. Maybe not the worst, but we're for sure definitely not getting the top tier cards. So I'll say that. Now, we finally got a good round here where I think we're going to be stuck with the top guy. We got Damon Harrison, who is 63 speed. Max Crosby is 83. And then I don't know the offense line is speed because it doesn't say. So I'm just going to go with the defensive tackle. We got a nice defensive tackle to stuff the run. You love to see it. Another wide receiver around here. We got 96 speed DJ Chark, 94 speed John Ross, and 91 speed Debo Samuel. I would have loved to use this DJ Chark card. But I'm okay with Debo. Honestly, I'm actually perfectly okay with that. Almost done with the draft here. Round number 18. We got a good round, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting the fullback. And we're stuck with the fullback, man. 75 speed, Patrick Ricard. Legend round here, boys. And we got Gale Sayers, Devin Hester, Demarius Thomas. Gale Sayers and Thomas, both of 91 speed. I'm going to be taking Sayers just so I have a halfback. I would love Thomas. Because, I mean, I, my receivers are not very good. But I need a running back. So, we're going to take Gale. And then, for the defense, we're going to be getting John Randall. 80 speed. We have an absolutely insane defensive line. I would have loved to guys get a skill position player there. But we're stuck with John Randall. Not the end of the world. Let's look at this team. Now, looking at the offense here, it does not seem too bad. There's obviously absolutely no speed on the field. But we got a pretty good O-line. We got three receivers. We got Gale Sayers. Fitzpatrick is super nice. One thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to put Juszczyk as my starting tight end and Ricard as my fullback because Juszczyk actually has some really good catching stats. So I'm going to put him there. Then defensively here, they have Akeem Hicks at linebacker. All right, we're going to have to move that. That's not... We're not doing that. All right, boys. I moved Akeem Hicks over to right end. Um, I don't know why they had him at linebacker. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. So I changed that. Secondary, honestly, is not too bad. We got Boye, Randall, Harrison Smith, um, Eric Harris here. But then the D line is nasty. We got Akeem Hicks, who's normally like a 90, I think. I don't know. He's a high overall. Then we got Damon Harrison, John Randall, and Stefan Tuitt. Absolutely amazing D line. We should be getting constant pressure every play but without further ado man let's hop into this game i am ready i'm prepared to be slow 
But just because you're slow doesn't mean you can't win. All right, boys, my opponent's top three is Herman Moore, Mark Ingram, and Darren Waller. 397 is my top three is obviously Fitzpatrick, Harrison, and John Randall. So he's got the team advantage. All right, boys, I don't have a face cam right now. I got to uh, put in my other battery in Mark Ingram. What a play. All right, boys, we are on defense here. If you're wondering why he's already at the 40-yard line, I had to get my other battery to put in my camera because my battery died. But we are back now. Terrible throw. Pick that off. Boye drops it and is out of bounds. That sucks. Third and three here. He's running the ball. Defensive line did not get any block chance. It's going to be a first. Our opponent is already almost across midfield. He's got Herman Moore coming in motion here. We're there. Let's go, boys. Oh, my gosh. Mark Ingram. Oh my gosh, we got tightened up on defense. Third and inches here. He's running the stretch, trying to get through. Come on, he's short. He's short. Come on. Let's go. Fourth and one. I'm sure he's going to go for it, but let's get this stop. Fourth and one. This could be a huge stop early in the game, boys. Let's go. I'm expecting a stretch, but he might try to do something short. Something like a slant. He's running. He's running. He barely got it. Nice play. He's running again. Another stretch. We're there. Good juke. Oh, my gosh. Come on now, boys. We're better than this. Third and six. He's doing a play action. I'm on this. Oh, he's throwing straight. Okay, he dropped it. What? He didn't drop it. Are you kidding me, bro? This game sucks, man. He threw it straight at my guy. and He just stands there. Oh, I got stuck in the D-line. He's passing, though. Straight at boy, and he drops another one, bro. What? That's twice now. AJ Boy has dropped a pick. Third and 12. He's got a motion here, faking the motion handoff. He's looking for the underneath. I don't know what that's going to do for you. That's going to be a fourth down. Hopefully, he takes his field goal. Our opponent is going to be taking his field goal. He also took the whole first quarter. But the kick is up and good. I'm not mad at that drive for the defense. We should have had like three picks. We didn't get any of them. We just dropped them. We'll catch them eventually though. Three nothing. Not a bad start. All right, let's go Fitzpatrick. We've got good field position here. Don't make any stupid throws. We'll take Mike Williams underneath. That's a quick eight yards. Nice snag. I did a nice catch by Mike. We're going to be running RPO here. Going to hand it off to Gail Sayers who's got a room. Some wiggle sticks by Sayers. And that is a, oh, I thought it was going to be a touchdown. He's too slow. Come on, man. All right, we're down to the five ball. Second goal here. Sayers is tired, so I'm going to be looking for use check here. Oh, my gosh. He's coming screaming. Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick. Let's go. Walk in touchdown. You saw the old man running. You saw the legs. Let's go. That's going to give us the lead. Now he's going to stop on defense. Got stuck in the D lineman here. He's looking to pass, and we got the sack. Stefan to it. Let's go, boys. We, that's what we need. We need to make this guy force him to pass. He's not a good passer. He's all right at running. We force him to pass. We got this game easy. Second 18 after the sack. He's doing another play action here. And that is another sack. Who is it this time? Whoever Jenkins is. I think that's Jordan Jenkins on the Jets, I believe. That's a good sack, though. Going to bring up third and 24. Now, just don't let him beat you over the top. Just playing some simple cover four. This guy loves his play actions. Terrible throw. I thought they let him catch that. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's wrong with this game and not let me catch my picks, but he's putting us the rock. He's doing a fake. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Give me that. Roberts with the interception. That's basically a punt anyway. Let's be honest. I should have probably swatted that, but we still, either way, we got a good field position. Let's score in here. Second and 10 here. Looking for you, Shrek, out of the backfield. I like running this play a lot. He's running man coverage, though. Ah, we're sacked. That's good. That's a good man coverage. That is good coverage. Third and 18 after the sack. Hopefully he runs man coverage again. If he does, I'm looking for Debo Samuel on this corner route. And we will have him, but he's out of bounds. Come on, man. That's still a nice game. But we had a touchdown, man. Come on. Fourth and four in the five wide. I believe he's running man again. We got news check. Let's go. 45 yard Walking touchdown for Kyle Juszczyk and my opponent has quit the game. Let's go. Who says you need to be fast to win in Madden? Come on, man. The slowest draft prevails. 
We pull out the W, man. Let's go. Sorry for the shorter gameplay, boys, but I have no control on if my opponent quits or not. So there's nothing that I can do, but I'm going to be live streaming tonight between 8 and 9 p.m. If you guys want to watch it, um, I stream on YouTube. I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet. We'll figure that out, but I'm going to be live streaming. But anyways, man, that's my end of the video. I hope you guys do enjoy. Like I said, I apologize that that dude quit, but there's not much I can really do. I can't control what he does. But anyways, man, I'll see you guys in the next video.